Okay. Uh, Chris, you talked about it in a previous video, and I think a lot of Lions fans are wondering, where's Jamison Williams? Why is he and why does the coaching staff refuse to play him more or less <laughs> than, than 10 or 11 snaps or 12 snaps? That's what he's been getting every single week. So there's some funny stuff on this, but there's also some interesting stuff. He responded to a tweet. Um, this is an M live article where there was a tweet put out talking about how Jameson Williams isn't getting enough time. And he liked that tweet. Oh my um, gosh. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, I don't know if you saw this. No. So Campbell of course did what Dan Campbell said. Um, when they asked him what that retweet meant, Campbell said this, he agreed that he would like to get the ball. I mean, I'd like the ball sometimes too, but I can't run a route like that anymore. Like he can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. First off, thank you, Dan Campbell. That's very Dan Campbell. But then he went on to kind of get a little wishy-washy with it. And then I want your opinion on this. He's then Dan Campbell said, but I would say he's been good. He comes out, he practices, man. He puts in the work. He's a work in progress. You catch that? He's a work in progress. It's like anything else. He gets better in practice and sharper in the details and all that. He was a little better this week than last week. We're going to get him a couple of plays. We'll get him a couple more plays this week. He's coming. It takes work. We can't throw him out there and say, you're taking 65 plays. That's a trust that has to be built, but he's working through that and it's good. And then he said later in that, he said, we're going to give him more reps. We'll give him more reps. So he made a promise at the end that he would play him more. What is your thought on Jamison Williams? I'm going to ask you a two-part question. Why isn't he getting more reps? And do you want him to? Mm. So Should he? That's a better way to say yeah. it. Should he? I, I think we have to remember he's literally been out. So you can't run routes, full speed practice. So I think it's not as easy as, all right, he's a really fast guy. Let's put him out in the mm -hmm. field and he'll catch, he'll catch balls. I just, it's not that easy. Number one. Number two, you, you really knew what you were getting when you drafted him. He injured his knee in January. We're not even yeah. a year into it. And it's a typical ACL is a year thing. It's not a year to like walk. You can walk six months later, but can you be an explosive NFL athlete? I mean, that takes a year. And so we knew what we were getting into drafting him. So part of me has always been, I don't care if he misses all year. We yeah. got a great player. Okay. Interesting. You just, just relax, <laughs> get, get your, self 100 percent right but then they start throwing him in there a little bit and you can't help it naturally as a fan to see him run past the vikings score a touchdown and think well that's fun and that's really cool to just score a 50-yard yeah. touchdown he can do that against anybody but mm -hmm. we saw he went deep and that was another one you know he went deep uh, a couple a couple weeks ago was was open and was under thrown and you're like oh, let's go so let's go. we have to remember what we signed up for we signed up for drafting a guy that it really wouldn't be ready till now. So he's, I think now this week we will see more of him. It's at home. It's a manageable game, but we also have to remember he hasn't been able to get timing, all these things. And you are oddly enough in a playoff push. So you cannot be throwing a guy out there to run a little dig up and under, you know, whatever route yeah. and risk it when you've got guys that have been practicing with golf. So I, I'm answering your question a lot of different ways, but my, my point is we have to be patient with him. We've got him play the long game, but man, it's so exciting to see him out there. And I would yep. just like to see him a little bit more. doesn't mean he has to play every single offensive snap, but give me five more plays. I think we can do that. Yeah. So I think about his skill set, right? Size, speed, and what he can do. He's like a better version of Christian Watson in green Bay. That's the guy we had all talked about maybe yes. early second round with our pick. And let's talk about Christian Watson, right? He had all training camp. He had all preseason. And then it didn't, he didn't really start to actually get the ball and get in for the majority of the snaps until like what week nine, right? Right. Week nine, week 10, somewhere in there. And now I think Jamison Williams is probably on a similar path that he was on. The difference between Jamison Williams and Christian Watson is that Christian Watson's quarterback's a jerk. And so his, his quarterbacks gonna be like, no, he's not ready. He's running the wrong routes. He can't catch the ball. Yeah. He's like every week. It was basically, how can I tell people that Christian Watson isn't as good as everybody says he is. Mm -hmm. And with golf, he's just like, uh, Williams is really fast. Like he's really fast. So he's going to compliment him. But when he says he's really fast, come on, read between the lines, right? Like what he's saying is he's not there yet. 
Like right. he's really fast, but he doesn't have the understanding of the NFL game yet. When is it zone? Where should I settle when it's zone? When is it man? Like right now I can run deep routes. Right. And by the way, you know, another thing that's not being talked about, he can block, which yeah. is awesome because he's been, he's been having good blocks when he's out there. So they basically have said to him, run deep routes and block. He didn't have a training camp. He came back just like four weeks ago. Right. And then he was boom playing because he was that talented. Give the guy some time. <laughs> like it usually takes a rookie wide receiver till week seven, week eight to really catch his footing. And that's with four or five weeks ahead of it. So it really takes rookie wide receiver 10 to 12 weeks. Oh, like, well, he'll be ready to go next year. Don't absolutely. worry about it. <laughs> like it's going to be fine. Right. At, Am I wrong? Well, another example is right on our own team. I just thought of this was St. Brown. I mean, he's, yeah. he is for okay, real. That guy going off in week nine or 10. Well, no, it took him 10 weeks to, yes. oh, I see. You know, he just, it just took, so he is, like you said, he's in really weak. I mean, I almost would say like week two or three because know. you know he, he was dressed, but he didn't play. Then he played a, you know, so this is really, I think, so I think early. this game that he's about to play is like playing in week one of the regular season. Uh-huh. Exactly. And no training camp, no preseason. Like, and this will be what game four that he plays in game yeah, five. Something so. Like that. so, so it's like, yeah, I think this is like, this is like week one, man. And so I'd sometimes when I, when I see people getting on the, why isn't he playing? Like when I was at the game against the Jags, the whole crowd is chanting. We want JMO, which is great. <laughs> Give the guy his love, you know, but also understand like there's a process here. Also, Chris, this would be different if our entire top four wide receivers weren't healthy. Ooh, exactly. They're yeah. all healthy. Like they're all healthy. They're all playing and they've been playing for every single one of these. So it's like, okay, and, and who do we, what are we going to, what are we going to do with the guy? And how many times in the last three or four weeks we needed a big play and it wasn't our, one of our top three receivers. It was Khalif Raymond who yes. they love. And so mm -hmm. it's like, they just trust Khalif Raymond after the big three. And then, and then it's Jameson and that's just yeah. the way it is right now. And it's like, this isn't just, Oh yeah, no, Jameson's better than all of them. We just, we just don't really want to play him. It's yeah. that it's not the case. He's, he's coming back and it's mental and physical. He's got the two prong thing where St. Brown, it was like, and um, Christian Watson, it's all of, it's a mental thing of the NFL yeah. game where he's dealing with that. And like, am I physically good? And if you're the lions, it's you're thinking, not a hundred percent yet. No way. No. And I don't want, I just don't get hurt. Oh, can, I mean, just the, the thought of that where you're just like, we tried to rush him in there to get, just get him in there. It's like, he's not even ready. So why even bother I would, getting that would be hurt? devastating? Yeah, that would be devastating. And, and I think, I think that was a really good example. I hadn't even thought about St. Brown really good call on that dude. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the way this is proven to do it. And by the way, our number four receiver, Kali Freeman. Um, pretty sure he's number two in, on the team in catches just because he's stayed healthy and he's been reliable and he can do things. So it's one of those things where it's like, so you're just going to throw him out of there? Like, right. Right. I don't think we're there yet. We but good receivers, I, wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw more sets where it was Chark, Williams, St. Brown, and Reynolds was the, uh, was the odd man out just – because of the way he hasn't been flashing like he has. So I wouldn't hate seeing Williams get 20 to 25 snaps instead of 12, but I'm okay with it for now. Like take it slow, get him in there when he's ready. These games mean too much. They mean too much. Crazy. He might be playing 30, 40 snaps. If they, if we were four and 11, exactly. Right. Crazy. It's crazy. We we're playing meaningful games and i and you know whether we're we just you know it's just we just are so yeah it's the last two weeks of the year they're meaningful this is great all right so there you go let us know what you think about jmo hit that subscribe button below thankful for you guys watching and we'll see you on the next one see you